Today we will convert this portable freezer into a water chiller for the chemistry lab. These portable freezers all run on 12 volts DC as they are designed for the auxiliary power outlet in cars, motorhomes and boats. They use a compressor for cooling. My version has a volume of 9 liters. First, drill three holes at the positions and distances shown. Be very careful not to hit any internal pipes or cables. I therefore pre-drilled the holes with a 5mm drill bit. The two holes on the left are then enlarged to 10mm. They are for the water inlet and outlet. The 5mm hole on the right is for feeding through the cable for the submersible pump. After drilling, a brief functional test is performed. My version of the freezer also came with a 230 volts power supply. This makes it easy to determine the polarity of the 12 volts plug that connects to the freezer. Next, we need a waterproof plastic box measuring 158 by 90 by 60 millimeters. Four 3 mm mounting holes are drilled into the bottom of the box. Then double sided adhesive tape is placed on the bottom of the box. Once the box is in position, the mounting holes are transferred. Make sure that you only drill into the outer shell of the freezer. Now a rivet nut insertion tool and M3 rivet nuts are required. Furthermore, we need a 12 volts DC motor speed controller, an on-off switch and a 5.5 by 2.1 mm DC power jack. First, a cutout is made in the lid for the on-off switch and clipped in place. This is followed by drilling a hole in the lid for the potentiometer and mounting it. Off camera I have already drilled three holes for the waterproof cable grommets and the jack. Here you can see how I assembled and wired everything. The freezer is only supplied with power and is independent of the on-off switch, as it has its own control panel allowing you to cool the water without running the pump. The submersible pump is also powered by 12 volts DC. You can buy it on Amazon, just like the motor speed controller. Now the box is mounted on the freezer using M3 screws. Once the supplied sealing cord has been inserted into the lid and the pump has been connected to the motor controller, the lid can be screwed on.
For the water inlet and outlet, we need the following 1 quarter inch stainless steel fittings. Before applying the Teflon tape, the threads are roughened with an old saw blade. This ensures that the Teflon tape adheres to the thread. I like to use self-adhesive vinyl film for labels. You can simply print on it with an inkjet or laser printer. We are almost finished with the build. Now we just need to connect everything with silicone tubing. I completely forgot to mention that the feed through stainless steel tube should be sealed with two component epoxy resin. Time to put the water chiller through its first test. The water chiller is primarily intended for small laboratories that do not have their own water connections. It is anyhow not sustainable to use running water or even drinking water for cooling condensers. What I find very practical is the adjustable volume flow, which allows you to precisely adjust the cooling performance in addition to the temperature. You should not expect miracles from the device. It cools very well for smaller distillation jobs and you can also pack ice or cold packs into the water chiller. If you need more cooling water, simply use a larger portable freezer. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay true, stay you. Talk to the hand.